Oh, well, you've likely seen the signs with amber letters along local freeways alerting drivers to what's happening on the road. They show real time information on crashes, lane closures or construction, but soon you're going to see new signs in the Sac in Sacramento and the Sierra. So Jordan Tolbert got a first look at those signs. Jordan, that's right. And there are 28 of these new changeable message signs along Highway 50 in both Sacramento and El Dorado counties along I-5 and Highway 70 and 99 in Butte County. The difference here is these new signs are full color and show photos versus the amber letters that you're used to. Over two dozen new signs will work to alert drivers about traffic issues alongside the nearly 80 text only signs, which you may be used to seeing within District 3 of Caltrans. As much information uh, that we can give the public uh, that's accurate, that's reliable, that helps them navigate our roadways in a safe and reliable way, um, the earlier that information is given to them and provided to them in a right, easy format, then it, the easier it is for the traveling public to be able to navigate our roads. Most of the messages you see along highways in Sacramento, Placer, El Dorado, Nevada, Butte, Yolo, Calusa, and Sutter counties come from this building the Transportation Management Center in Rancho Cordova. This is where CHP and Caltrans work together to monitor traffic conditions and alert drivers to changing road conditions 24 seven. In the event of a crash or a closure, information is sent out to the message boards to give drivers a heads up. We have a hybrid of both that are that are changeable, some some that are automa automated, okay. and so uh, but the majority of the custom messages that you see that are that are incident related, they come from this building. Now, to communicate information faster, these messages will now show full color photos and messaging. You know, pictures have a thousand words in there. You know, with the old uh, system, we could only have three lines with 16 characters. So that was a lot of brainstorming on how we want to uh, convey the message out to the traveling public. Uh, some motorists may respond quicker by seeing an image versus reading a line of text. Right. And so that's why we made that transition from amber color to a full color sign. The signs will be used on an as-needed basis starting September 1st until further guidelines are developed. We turn it on when we have traffic incidents, so they're not always going to be up and running. So whenever there's a major incident uh, that we get uh, informed of here with our operators, we can light them up. And Caltrans District 3 is the first in California to actually launch these messaging signs, though some other areas of California have piloted this technology.